Hey guys, welcome to the FIFA 21 Record Breaker David Silva Player Review. So for this review, I used David Silva as a cam in the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation and used him with the Hunter chemistry style. I also applied the stay forward while attacking instructions on him. So let's see how he performed in game. So this Record Breaker's David Silva card has been boosted in all departments. So let's start by analyzing his main upgrade, which is his pace. So overall, his pace was good. It makes this card much more usable when you compare it to his base card which has some appalling pace stats. He doesn't have that pace you require to burst away and lead a counter attack. His pace is good enough when you're dribbling in and around the box when you just have to beat one defender and shoot onto goal. But you can't start breaks with David Silva so I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And at certain occasions I would like my camp to have more pace than this card did. Even with the Hunter chemistry style this card doesn't fulfill my pace requirements at camp to be completely honest. So David Silva has also been given a shooting upgrade and for me his shooting was okay, it was nothing special, nothing out of the ordinary. I hit a couple of finesse shots outside the box. I managed to just like barely trouble the keeper with them because his shot power and his finishing stats aren't the greatest even with this upgrade. Another thing that doesn't help this card out is his 2-star weak foot and it makes it so predictable to defenders to jockey this guy. You just have to jockey him on a stronger foot because his weak foot is absolutely useless to shoot or pass with. The place where David Silva shines on his stronger foot is inside the box because he does have high composure statistics so most times he will bury the ball in the back of the net but from outside the box he didn't really trouble the keeper. His dribbling for me was just super smooth, he was very responsive due to that small frame of his in-game and the small character model and makes him really feel agile and super silky on the ball. He also has the 4-star skill so you have the wide variety of tricks to let's just say bamboozle defenders in and around the box. David Silva's passing on a stronger foot was just amazing. This guy is like a laser beam when it comes to picking out players. He has amazing vision statistics. So if you want to play an incredibly tough and tight through ball, this guy more often than not will make that pass. So I'd recommend using this guy to string together all of your attacks because his passing is simply sublime. So David Silva doesn't have great strength at all. He will get bullied by any defender that comes to challenge him. He is less than useless in any physical confrontation. So I'd avoid just, let's just say, spinning defenders and quickly passing it before they make a tackle because if they make a tackle, this guy will get dispossessed very easily. So I'm going to rate record breaker David Silva a 7.3 on 10. He is by no means a meta card in this game. I'm also going to give him a value for coins of a 7 because in my opinion 140k for this card doesn't justify the quality that you're going to be getting in game with him. But if you're a Man City fan or if you have some level of nostalgia attached to David Silva, go pick this guy up because he is a very usable version of David Silva for FIFA 21. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and if you did, please drop a sub on the channel and a like on the video. It would mean the world to me and have a great day ahead guys.